My name is Sarah and um, I have keratoconus. I was diagnosed probably six years ago and um, immediately, we live in a, a fairly large town, but immediately the doctors referred me on to larger cities. And so basically I worked my way through different large cities in the south, like New Orleans and Houston, and I kept ending up in the same place. They told me I needed a cornea transplant. And I wasn't ready to do that, so um, my mom got on the internet and did research for me because uh, it's pretty tough to do research on the internet when you have keratoconus. But um, we found out about Intax, and so um, the, at the point I was at, I decided that I wanted to go to the best doctor for Intax, and so we narrowed our choices down, and that's how I found Dr. Rabinowitz because he was the go-to doctor for Intax, and I didn't want to look back and think down the road, gosh, if I'd have just seen the right doctor, it would have been different. So I had Intax implanted probably four years ago, and uh, they definitely improved my vision um, uncorrected. Glasses don't help me at all. I have to rely on contact lenses. And so it was really nice that when I was tired and I needed to take the contacts out, um, that I was able to see a little bit better. And um, I've been wearing, since the Intax, uh, semi-scleral lenses and doing pretty well uh, until this year. And this year got a little bit harder. And so when we came to see Dr. Rabinowitz for our visit, he said my left eye was definitely progressing again and it was time to try the cross-linking. And I've been reading about the cross-linking and so um, I was pretty excited to be able to try this. And um, as far as the procedure, I was pretty nervous. I had worked myself up into a pretty big nervous state because I thought, gosh, he's going to scrape off part of my eye and then I'm going to have to stare at a light and I'm so light sensitive already. So um, I had pretty much worst case scenario the whole uh, event and it was very easy. Uh, the, the scraping was not painful. I was completely numb and so um, that wasn't a problem at all. And the light, I wouldn't even call it a light. <laughs> it was, uh, so for light sensitivity, it's just, it's not a problem. Um, I'm fine. Okay. I'm going to be at the spa. That's what I'm going to pretend I'm at the spa. Good. Nice relaxation for 30 minutes. Right. Okay. And go ahead and open that for me one more time. It was easy. It, um, I didn't feel anything to tell you the truth. Um, what would you call the part where he it's scraped it? I mean, what do you call that? Pull. The oh. removal that was. Nothing special. No, it was quick and it was painless and um, it was fine. And I was nervous about that, but it was fine. And the drops were, um, it was quick and they didn't hurt. So um, it, was e it was easy. not a problem and like I said I was concerned because I'm light sensitive and I just I didn't know how I was going to be able to stand staring at a light for 30 minutes but it's not a bright light so it's it's fine I'm very I'm very surprised I don't feel anything I, it's, I can feel a little what do you call the thing that has it open the speculum I can feel that a little bit but it's not even uncomfortable Good. You just have to be still, I guess. That's the worst of it, which is not bad at all. I feel fine. I'm very comfortable. The drop changes the color of everything, but it's not uncomfortable. So, sir, you got an appointment to see me tomorrow? Tomorrow at 10 45. If I if my eyes are dry, is it gonna dry out? No. Okay. Took down all the She wanted to know when she okay. can start um, taking a couple of her uh, supplements that have vitamins. Do whatever you like. Okay. I thought that was the weirdest part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, let me get her something for the back of it. Yeah. Okay? Okay. But you can, there's no restriction. You can do whatever you like. Okay. You can you do whatever you like. Okay. My eye today, this is the day after, is a little uh, scratchy, but I have um, drops and medicine to put in, so that helps. It's very, um, it's manageable. It's not excruciating pain, it's just uncomfortable. And so I've been sleeping a lot over the past 24 hours and feeling pretty good. Um, as far as 
managing life with keratoconus, it, it's a tough condition to have. I have two little boys, mm -hmm. and so um, I've been in places at certain times during the disease that I couldn't even read stories to them, like big letter children's stories, or maybe we're in the backyard and I can't tell if it's a snake or a stick. And um, there's been a lot of times where I can't drive, depending on where I am with the contact lenses and you know the state of my eye at that time. So it's not an easy disease to manage. So it's pretty exciting that there is a new treatment option out there. Um, 